Hey, soldier. Welcome to Pocket Ronnie. Sit down, pay attention, and conquer your fear of math. All right, we're going to be doing logarithms. Um, logarithm is another way to write a problem that would normally be in exponential form. Okay, we're going to be working on converting back and forth from logarithm form to exponential form and vice versa. So, logarithms were uh, more practical uh, for solving problems in the days before calculators and computers um, existed. So, um, you will see logarithms and equations still today, so, but a lot of this can be done via on your calculator or computer. So these problems, we're going to go from log, logarithm, you'll just see me write log form, from logarithm form to exponential. This is in logarithm form. We're looking at 21C number 1. The way this is read is log base 32 of 4 equals 2 fifths. So this 32 is a small subscript down below. It's a subscript. So log base 32 of 4 equals 2 fifth. Base 32. In our calculators, when you see the log button, it's always base 10 because our numbers are a base 10 system. So the fact that we're calling this a base, to go in, to write this into exponential form, this is the base. So when you, that number is your base, this becomes your exponent, and this becomes your answer. So this, you go from log form, this is the way to write it in exponential form. I like to think of it like this. This number goes to the answer on this side. This two-fifths comes over and becomes the exponent of that. You're going in a circular motion. Okay, log base 32, so that becomes your base. This number was called the base. This is the exponent. This number here is your exponent. And if we go through 32 to the 2 fifths, that would be 4. Because 32 to the 5th root is 2, and then 2 squared is 4. So that is a true statement, and this is just another way to write it in log form. So let's look at 21C number 2. We're going to go from log form to exponential form. Again, if you think of it in the circular motion, this becomes your answer. This over here is your exponent to that. So this is log base 10, which means that this is your base. 10 is your base. This is your exponent. 10 to the negative 3 equals, and this is the answer. And this is a true statement. So, this is a true statement. 10 to the negative 3 equals 0 .001 because this becomes 1 over 10 cubed, which is the same as that. Okay, now looking at 21C3, log base x of 2 plus y equals 5. Again, going in a circular motion. This becomes your answer. This number over here becomes the exponent to that. Log base x means x is your base. This is your exponent, and then this becomes the answer. They're not asking you to solve for x, they're not asking you to solve for y, they're just asking you to put this in exponential form. x to the fifth equals 2 plus y. That's an exponential form. Now we're going to go from exponential form to log form. So they're going to give you the problem in exponential form, meaning you have a base to an exponent equals an answer. So this is 21c4 but you want to put it in log form. This is your base. This is your exponent. So the fact that if you remember that's your base, then you know log base 6 of 1.82 is equal to 1 third. You're still going in a circular motion. This comes over, uh, let's see, this comes over like this. And you have, uh, oh, and this goes over there. Right, that's how I usually draw it. This is your base, log of base 6 of 1.82 is equal to 1 third. So you can still think of it in a circular motion. If you think of this as your base, that was your answer, and the exponent is always over here when you have the log in log form. Okay, so let's look at 21C5. 
This is an exponential form. We want to put it in log form. This is your base. This is your exponent. So log base 200, which means our 200 goes here, of 5 is equal to x. They're not asking us to solve for x, they're just asking us to put it in log form. Looking at 21c6, 32 to the 1 fifth, 32 is my base. So log of base 32 of 2 is equal to the exponent. And you can always go back and check, and if you put it back the other way, 32 to the 1 fifth is equal to 2. That is the true statement, 32 to the 1 fifth. That means the fifth root of 32. The fifth root of 32 is 2.